When a door unlocks and a cell empties at the Weld County Jail. And we want to make sure that people are aware of what's happening. Jail Captain Matt Turner and Republican Weld County Sheriff Steve Reams want the public to know who ordered an inmate's release. And I think there's this idea that the jail releases people. And while we are the last entity holding that person, at the end of the day, we don't make that decision. A judge makes that decision. A new daily report posted to the sheriff's office website names a selection of inmates, their crimes, and the judges who ordered them out of jail. I think there's both a community awareness and a community safety issue at hand here. He says many of the inmates in the report are released on personal recognizance bonds. Those bonds don't cost money and rely on a suspect's word that they'll show up for a court date. The risk to that person is lessened. Um, and in my opinion, and in Sheriff Reams' opinion, the chance to offend could be increased. The judges say the information is already public. In a statement, the Weld County Chief Judge adds, quote, the presumption of innocence carries with it the constitutional right to have bail set and the ability to post bond while the charge is pending. In a spare unit of the jail he oversees, Turner says he doesn't want to see these cells full. Our mission is not to hold as many people as possible in jail. But he says naming the judges helps the public understand why some suspects don't spend much time here. I believe what this report shows is a systemic issue. The chief judge says every bond hearing is individual and courts consider the law, the facts of the case and arguments from the state and defense before deciding how to proceed. He also says he wants the sheriff to name every inmate released, not just a select few.